Hello everyone. When you take a set of CMS, it is very easy to not fully capture the area of interest. Or, incidentally, you capture something that looks suspicious and that requires further investigation. So take a minute to take a look at this set of CMS. And I want to draw your attention to this maxillary uh, posterior molar PA. We're seeing 14 and 15 and with that we can also see the maxillary sinus and this is the zygomatic process of the maxilla on the border of the zygoma and we see another diffuse radial opacity that extends superiorly and that is coronoid process of the mandible. So well, now look at the side of 16 and what are we seeing here? By the way, this patient is 20 years old. We see a what appears to be a follicular space has that radio opaque density that is similar to that of enamel and uh, it looks like a, a tooth, you know, part of a tooth, right? So initial um, differential diagnosis may, could be this is a developing third molar, right? But we're unable to see the whole, th you know, the whole entity. That's why when you see something like that, you want to take a panoramic radiograph to better visualize this area. So now let's take a panoramic radiograph that we took afterwards and looking at this radiograph you see that uh, patient does have number 17 that is fully developed so if there was were to be number 16 we would expect it to be fully developed as well but as you can see uh, it certainly doesn't have that the natural shape or the size of the tooth at this stage. So what is this? What could this be? Besides the shape and size of a tooth, everything else is very suggestive that this is a, a, a some form of a tooth, doesn't it? There could be different differential diagnosis, but for the most part because of the density of the enamel that we see uh, and what appears to be the follicular space, that tells me that this is a most likely a more malformed tooth. Well, let me back up just a little bit. I don't have the full history. It's possible that the patient, uh, um, I mean the doctor may have tried to extract a tooth and may not have fully uh, removed the entire tooth. But if that wasn't the case, if this was never uh, surgically interrupted, then we're most likely looking at a malformed tooth or a more technical term would be odontoma. So this, um, when I see, when I'm seeing this, my number one differential di diagnosis is odontoma and that's what I think it is. And um, yeah, I hope this was interesting and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.